Create a full screen shader graph. Name it Retro Custom Effect. Create an UV node. Connect it to an URP sample buffer node. Set source buffer to blitz source. Connect it to an add node. Connect the UV node to a dither node. Connect the dither node to a subtract node. Subtract by 0.5 on the X and Y axis. Connect it to a multiply node. Create a float property and name it dither spread. Connect the dither spread to the multiply node. Connect the multiply node to the add node we created previously. Connect the add node to a multiply node. Create a float property called color resolution. Set the mode to integer in the graph inspector. Connect the color resolution to the multiply node. Connect it to an add node. Add 0.5 on the X and Y axis. Connect it to a floor node. Connect it to a divide node and divide the result with the color resolution. Connect it to the fragment base color. Save the asset. Create a material by right-clicking on the shader. Set the dither spread to 0.1 and the color resolution to 8. Open the project settings. Select the graphics tab and locate the scriptable render pipeline settings. Select the renderer and show it in the inspector. Add a full screen pass renderer feature. Set the material you created as the pass material. Go back to the project settings. Select the scriptable render pipeline settings again and show it in the inspector. Set the render scale to 0.2. Here's the final result. Please leave a like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful.